Jiri is good at just packaging stuff up. IPsec is good at sending unicast traffic. We may need to marry the two together. GRE over IPsec allows us to take the strengths of GRE, like multi-protocol support, routing support, and then add together the security of IPsec, which we know is very, very robust. The challenge with IPsec, though, is that it is not designed for multi-protocol, not designed for multicast, which means your dynamic routing protocols don't want to work on it, okay? So, let me show you GRE over IPsec. Just take you on a brief journey here. What we do is we take these two technologies, we jam them together. We then think, I can have my cake and eat it too. The cake being routing, eating it too being having that be secure. Maybe vice versa would have been a better analogy. GRE over IPsec take two disparate technologies that are both about headers and put them together. Generally speaking, you're going to do this in tunnel mode. In IPsec ESP, you can have the IPv4 header embedded within the encrypted packet, which means you have to rewrite the new IPv4 header, or you could have that inside tunnel mode versus transport mode. Tunnel mode should be your choice by default. Transport mode less so. Transport mode does have one benefit and that is a smaller header. But your default is tunnel mode. Transport mode, the smaller header, the smaller total header size is not going to play a big impactful role in my selection. Okay, And it is a good idea to hide your internal addressing, and you get that with tunnel mode. 